I have in front of me a cute little sugar cookie and it's the shape of a stocking. So I'm just gonna do a quick little stocking and show you how I would ice this. So I'm going to start with the top because I wanna put a white icing on here and then actually apply some sprinkles to it and then move on to the base where I'm gonna use red and green stripes and use a scribe tool to actually create a design with the two colors where you blend them to a, a some degree. So we'll get started with our white icing. And what I do when I start icing the cookies is I push the bag from the very back and I use my finger to direct the bag and move it around. It just helps steady the bag. So it's an easy technique. You come down and start with the icing, give a little pressure to the bag and touch it to the cookie, but then you lift up and you just start making an outline around the area that you want to fill in. Does not have to be perfect because this area I'm going to fill in and then cover with sprinkles. So this is the least accurate you'll need to be. So just fill in that whole area Now you might see that there's a few little areas with gaps or maybe it's not coming to the edge up in this corner and that's fine. Just take your little scribe tool and oh, I missed a whole area here because it was out of my range when I was filming. So just take your little scribe tool and fill that in. You can push it out to the edge a little bit further. And a scribe tool, it can be any kind of pointy tool. Truth be told, I had this originally for paper quilling and I decided I liked the point on it and it worked better in my cookies. And it's been living with my baking stuff ever since. So if I decide to do a little more paper quilling, I'm gonna have to go get another one. Any excuse to go to a craft store, right? So we're just filling this out to the edges. Now this does not have to be perfect on this part because it's supposed to look like the fuzzy, furry top of a stocking. So, just I'm doing little gentle circles, and even when I kind of blobbed that at the end here, and pick, I could pick it back up and take it where I wanted to go. Now, if I wanted to flatten this out, I could actually just pick up the cookie and kind of drop it a few times, and that icing should settle down. Kind of a big lump, and I'm not in the runniest of icings here, but it will settle down. So we'll set that aside for a second, clean off my scribe tool. And then I have a little paper plate here. I actually have a few of those little sprinkles on here, but that's okay. I'm going to work right on top of it. And I've got these Wilton white sparkling sugar sprinkles. They're a very large sugar. And I just love the crystal look that it gives. So we're just going to sprinkle some on top of here. It's a little bit like doing glitter. It doesn't matter if you get too much on there because the excess is just going to come off. And then you can take that plate and just bend it in half and put that stuff right back into the container. Anything that doesn't stick. It's just one way that you can put sprinkles on your work without having to wait for it to dry before you can finish the cookie. So it can move things along and you can go a little faster. So next I'm going to take green and I'm going to make stripes. I'm going to put red in, but I want this red to actually fill in in between those two. So I'm just going to put a little more pressure in the color. Make sure it fills it pretty thickly. And see where there's a few little gaps in between right in here? That's okay, that scribe tool will take care of that as well. There are a lot of different techniques in sugar cookies. There's a wet on wet technique. And this is certainly a version of a wet on wet technique. However, I'm not applying icing right on top of icing, I'm putting it right next to it. But I'm going to use the scribe to actually kind of draw it through or create a design by drawing, it, drawing the scribe through. 
So see how I just I kind of wiggle that icing around, pop any little air bubbles, and then um, it just just to join it, not to cover anything. Don't go crazy. Just little tiny motions with your hand. Just get in there and cover that up. Get it to touch. That's it. Just a little icing kiss. Okay. So we've got that done, and now we have our little striped stocking, but we're really not looking for stripes. We're looking for a somewhat knitted looking pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scribe tool now, and I'm going to just draw it all the way through the cookie. You can give it a little curve if you want or leave it straight. Oh, and each time I do that, I'm going to go back to make another draw through but I just wipe off that scribe tool in a wet paper, paper towel. Now you have options here. You could outline all of this with another color and I probably would have left a little more room if I was going to do that. I, <clears throat> I didn't plan on doing that. I'm actually going to just leave this kind of rough and raw looking other than I'm just going to use my scribe tool just to kind of clean up some of these edges a little bit, just to round them out. So that's why I went ahead and went closer to the edge, but I certainly could have left a little bit more room and come back and finished with something else. So this edge, you can see I had quite a bit of that green kind of sticking out, and it doesn't matter. I can just draw it down right into the rest of the colors. It's just part of the design. Keep my cookie from traveling on me here. And it looks like I didn't quite get this up to here, so we can fix that right now. And there you have it, a cute little icing cookie.